This is how to play a simplified version of Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. This is such a popular song and uses such basic open chords. Um, I wanted to do a super beginner friendly version where we just strum those chords first of all. And anyone that wants to take on the fingerstyle melody, I have a tutorial for it, which you can find by clicking this link here or it's at the top of the description. So that fingerstyle melody uses these same chords. So the C to the G, E minor and D, but the E minor and D is done in different positions up here. So what we're gonna look at is what these chords are. First of all, and whether you just want to strum this song or you want to then learn the fingerstyle melody, this is the place to start if you want to get to grips with this song as a beginner. So that first chord is a C major chord, standard way of playing a C chord, and it's with a capo at the second fret, um, and the C chord's proportionate to that. So fret one, fret two, fret three. We then move to a G chord, which because of that melody, we're gonna use the G where we play the third finger and the little finger down. So a G chord with all four fingers. We then keep that first finger where it is, lift off all the others and move to E minor. Standard way of playing an E minor chord. Lift those off totally and then move to a D major chord. And they're the four chords that make this entire song. It's in that order for the verses and the main riff, and then we have just a slightly different order for the chorus, same chords though. So let's practice these. We have the C major to G, E minor, and D. C, G, E minor and D, D major. Rhythm wise, we're going to play the most common strumming pattern ever down, down, up, up, down. But it's going to be weird because we're going to not play one of them, or we're going to hopefully kind of get this muting going where we dab the strings with our strumming hand. And we're going to change. Uh, chord mid strumming pattern. So they're the things that make it difficult. But let's simplify it. It's one strum of the C chord, mute to G. So strum, mute, and we don't need to get a hit or tap or anything, just focus on stopping the strings ringing out, then change to G. It's then the same thing, E minor to D. So strum an E minor, Silence the strings, play a D major. Let me show you how that goes with the uh, rhythm of the song. A little bit slower so you can join in with me from that C chord in two, three, four. Last time. Now all we add to that is just more strums on the second and fourth chords that we play. So on that G and the D. Strum the C, mute, and then it's up, up, down. That's gonna feel weird the first time you try it, but you'll get it. Down, mute, up, up, down. So just as an option, what we can add is open, first finger down, first finger open, and then continue as normal.
When we do that option, we don't worry about the muting too much. We, we don't mute at all. We just do down, up, down. And that's an option that's a little bit closer to the recording. The lack of a mute uh, means it's a quicker change is, is the real thing there. The other thing that we need to look at is we have a chorus section. It doesn't happen until much later in the song. Same four chords, starting off with the C chord for a whole bar, and then G, same order that we did before, E minor, then D. And this is the driving, driving in your car. G chord. G with four fingers, all three's totally fine. Personal preference, totally fine. E minor, then D. Here's where it changes a little bit. I, I had a feeling that I belong. I, I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone. It's very similar to what we've done already, so let's have a look at adding this strumming. Down, down, up up, down, per chord to begin with. The second time, on the second line of this, we have C, C, E minor, and then a whole bar of D. Crucial thing happens here, two strums, of the C chord and then it's up on the E minor. It's a C chord and a D chord, same kind of change. Down, down, up, up, down to finish the chorus. Let me demo the chorus uh, one final time, all together. Two, three, four. Simplified. If you're up for the challenge, I will leave the full version of how to play that song on the screen now, which you can check out. It's also in the description below. And let me know what you thought of this tutorial. I'll leave some similar song suggestions as well in the description. And I hope to see you next time.